Sometimes people um, have failures in, in metal and plastic materials with their applications because it's the temperature is too high, the wear is too extreme, um, the um, chemicals are too great. There could be a number of reasons why those materials would fail and ceramics would succeed. Here's an interesting part. Uh, this part is used in uh, windmills. The customer approached us and said that they were using a bearing that was made of a metal and it was wearing out very quickly. It was about a three month period of time. We made it in a high purity aluminum oxide and it has since last over five years. So what we did was we made this component in two separate features. The interlocking design was green machined in so that once it was fully dense we were able to just do minimal hard grinding to this component. The tolerance between the inner bearing and the outer bearing is about one thousandth. The surface finish of the ID of the outer bearing and the OD of the inner bearing match perfectly. They're at a 6RA, so they spin perfectly and they wear evenly. So we have this beautiful part here that's used in um, bomb detection equipment. It's a wire guide. So basically what happens is you wipe the surface, this particular component goes into a heating coil, and the heating coil warms the surface that's being tested, the molecules rise, and then instantly they're able through mass spectrometry technology to tell if there's any powder bomb residue on the surface. So this is a pump part. Um, it's mag stabilized zirconia. It's used for water filtration, water analysis, and also chemical analysis. Part of the importance of ceramic being used for this application is it wears very slowly. Uh, additionally, it has chemical resistance, which enables it to measure caustic fluids without breaking down over time. The ID surface finish along with the OD surface finish complement each other, so these two materials wear together slowly. A good use for ceramic is blades for cutting. Uh, part of the reason why that is is because the material is incredibly dense and very strong. For many years we made blades that cut thin film for x-rays. Uh, additionally, we've made blades that were capsule cutters. And we can machine these surfaces so that we have a beautiful edge for cutting. Additionally, you can use it for a very long time without it wearing out. So an interesting solution to a recent problem that we came across with one of our customers. They are buying lots of ceramic components and they wanted a way to identify them. So here's an example of laser scribing serial numbers. Quite often we get a requirement or a request for metallized parts and I just happen to have one right here. This is a fully dense ceramic component that has a metallized surface. These surfaces can be important for a variety of reasons. Could be for electrical purposes, could be for thermal purposes, and also could be for isolating electrical currents. This component is also a fascinating component. It is called an end effector. So um, an end effector is something that will take one plate, can't be touched by human hands in a clean room, silicon carbide in the semiconductor industry, and it'll move it to another location. Well, part of the reason why ceramics are important in a clean room is because the purity of the material will not emit anything into the environment and will not absorb anything from the environment. It's a fully dense material, non-porous, so that makes it ideal. So don't be worried if you've been trying a component in metals or plastics and it hasn't worked out for you. We see that a lot. Feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to walk you through the process and let you know what ceramics can do for you. Please support us so we can make more videos to support American manufacturing. Smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks.